Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at the top five must have tricks for every educator who's teaching virtually. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first trick is how to hide your desktop icons when you're teaching or sharing your screen. You simply right click, view, uncheck show desktop icons. Voila, your desktop is clean and crisp. Your students don't have to know what's on your desktop. Once you're done teaching or sharing, you simply come back, right click again, check show desktop icons. The next trick I want to talk about is how to increase the size of your pointer or your cursor. As you can see, this is very, very small and it's hard for the students to follow, especially when they have a smaller screen. So the one way to increase the size of your cursor is you scroll all the way down to your taskbar, right click and click on taskbar settings. Once you get there, click on home ease of access, cursor, and pointer. Here, you can not only increase the size of your mouse or your cursor, but you can also change it to the customized colors that you want. I like to go ahead and keep it this color. I'm simply gonna reduce it further. This should be a good size. And there you have a larger cursor and it's easy for your kids to follow. But if you are teaching a special needs or any other classes, you can actually bring up the cursor size to as big or as large as possible. So I'm gonna keep it this size for now and I'm gonna minimize it so you can see it on the screen. There you go. The next trick I would like to talk about is called arrow shake. Instead of closing your tabs in front of your students, the easiest way to do is simply pull the tab that you want, shake it, let it go. Once you're done with your tab, go back, shake it again, and put it back where it belongs. How simple is that? So the next trick I would like to talk about is how to multitask on your Windows desktop. When I talk about multitasking, you can have multiple windows on the same screen. In order to do that, you simply go to your taskbar, right click, taskbar settings, home, system, multitasking, and make sure you check all of these so that you will have multiple windows or browsers on your desktop. Once all of these are checked, you simply close it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and open multiple windows here. So here I have my calculator, here I have my browser, here I have my Teams, and here I have my PowerPoint presentation. I wanna go ahead and start with my browser. In order to make sure you are having multiple windows on the same window, what you need to do is you need to press and hold your Windows icon and then use your arrows left, right, up, down in order to adjust your windows. So I'm pressing and holding my windows and left arrow. As you can see, my window has moved to the right. Now I'm gonna click on my PowerPoint, press and hold your window, arrow right. Here I have my window to the right hand side because you took half of the screen. It's gonna ask you which window do you want on the left hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. And once I have that, I still wanna have one more window, which is I wanna have my calculator. In order to do that, I will go ahead Click on my calculator. Again, press and hold your window. Left, down, up. Again, you are playing with what you want, how you want it to be positioned. There you go. I like it right there. And then it's gonna ask me, what do you want on this side? I'm gonna go ahead and pick this. Now I want another window. In addition to all these three windows, you can actually move the positions of these windows. So let me show you how. You're going to click on the window that you want to move, move up, right, and down. There you go. I have it. You want to move the position. You click on the window, play with your arrows, but when you're playing with your arrows, you want to make sure you have your Windows icon pressed and held down. So once that's done, here I have. So I want to go ahead and include my Teams window as well. In order to do that, press and hold 
left, down, up. There you go. I think I like it there. Okay. And here, once I have it, it's going to ask me, what do you want your fourth window to be? I'm going to go ahead and click on my PowerPoint. And again, you don't like the position of the windows. You can always move them around. So I'm going to click on this in my calculator, press and hold my windows, move it left, move it down, move it to the left, move it up. And there you go. It's back in its position. And please keep in mind, you have to press and hold your Windows icon and play with your arrows until you like the position of your window. So the last trick I want to talk about is your clipboard feature on your Windows 10 system. In order to activate your clipboard, you will simply go to your taskbar, right click, taskbar settings, home, system, clipboard, and make sure you turn this on. Make sure you turn on your clipboard history. That way, your clipboard saves all the items, images, and the text that you have copied. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. Here I have empty Word document. In order to activate your clipboard, you simply press and hold your Windows icon and the V letter. Once you do that, your clipboard is up. I can actually copy and paste whatever I want. It could be your images. I'm pressing down my windows, pressing and holding, and the V button, scroll all the way down. I can copy images, press and hold windows, V. I can copy text. As you can see, my, my windows history or the copy and paste history is quite a lot. This is what I use to copy and paste the entire day. So copy windows. Windows and we, and you can scroll down. It actually saved quite a few of things that I copied for the entire day. This is a good feature, especially when you're trying to copy and paste multiple things. I hope you enjoyed these tricks. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need these five tricks. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure you type them in the comment box below. And always remember, happy teaching.